was able to spend some awesome time with the boys out today on the range. And it really reminds me, you know, I take it for granted. I just show up and shoot. And I practice little fine things. And uh, I've been shooting and shot competitive archery around the country for years and enjoyed it at a very high level. And trying to teach my boys, I need to scale back and make sure that I'm progressing along the way. There's five things that I'm really working on teaching them right now. And I think, you know, all young archers are starting. First starts with a draw length. You want to make sure that draw length's not too long or they're going to be leaning back. You want the shoulder square, T with the body. So you're just, you're forming a T. You're not leaning back if it's too long of a draw length. Um, you want that slight bend in the elbow. And working on that three-point anchor system is critical. You know, I want my boys, that's something they can do every time. They can touch the string to the tip of their nose, not to the side where it can slide. They have a firm anchor point back here with the release and then they have a peep sight. So those three things, they can lock in on every shot. It doesn't matter if they're pointing up or down, they can be very consistent. Next step is I like to work with them and we're slowly starting to do that now. They each have wrist slings. I want them to have a completely relaxed grip when they shoot. Don't want that squeeze. And if you squeeze, you can see what you do with the bow. Jerk it side to side. So those left, left to right can be very inconsistent. Last thing that we're not even really worried with them right now is I just want them to have a relaxed release. I want them to be calm, not rushed, not really focus on exactly hitting a little dime sized spot at 20 yards, but just being consistent. Worrying more about a tight group and making a good shot than actually what the score is down range. I want them to float on the target and just slowly squeeze the trigger like they would a gun and make it go off. Now, I like using my thumb trigger and a relaxed grip and letting the bow surprise me when it goes off. That's great for target shooting, but for hunting and with the boys, just trying to teach them the relaxation and the consistency. So the proper draw length, that bent elbow, three-point anchor system, making sure they have a loose grip, and then finally that surprise release at some point. But most of all, having fun with the boys. Can't wait to hunt this year, and we're hopefully these uh, tips that we're giving them and, and these tools that we're slowly progressing them on with the, uh, with the shooting accuracy um, will really pay off in the field this year. So we can't wait, and we'll bring it to you soon.